Hey guys, it's Phil from jailbreakitouch.com. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2.0 with Quick Pwn. One of the first things you're going to need to do is make sure that you have all iTunes services off. Also make sure that your iPod is set to never auto lock. And by doing that you can click on settings, general, auto lock, and set to never. Bottom of the screen, I'll have the links to also to get the um, to get the Quick Pwn tool. So what you want to do is you want to select on select your iPod Touch, select Next. You want to be able to browse for your for your software. Please click Open, and then from there. You click on next, it'll ask if you want to install City, install it and replace boot logos. Say yes for all of them. Cydia is, uh, is like installer. These allow you to install applications. Uh, installer is still under beta. They're just now just starting to add applications. Cydia has got some pretty wild applications. One of them is really cool. It's called Winterboard. And it allows you to change the theme of your uh, change the theme of your iPod. It works along the same line as Summerboard. And replace the boot logo so it gets rid of your Apple icon and it changes it to uh, this pineapple. So click on next. And it's going to tell you that it's going to open up in a new window, which is the command. And now it's working its way through. Give you a set of instructions that are going to come up. It's going to tell you here to make sure that it's off. So you guys know how to turn off your iPod. Just hold the power button down and slide it and it'll shut off. And once that's off, hit enter. Now here's some instructions which you need to follow. Uh, it says timing is crucial. It's fairly easy. It will uh, it'll walk you through how to do this. So. Just take a quick note to read it or pause it, uh, just to read what's going on. And when you're ready to go, just push uh, type, the letter, uh, type the letter Y for yes, and we're going to begin. So first thing it's going to do, it's going to tell us to hold down the power button for five seconds. Now it's going to tell us to hold down the home button and not to let go. Then it's going to tell us after this to let go of the power button, but not to let go of the home button, which is your middle button. We'll do a countdown, and what you'll see eventually is your screen going white. And that is normal. Keep in mind that uh, once you have, I've noticed this, but once you have jailbroken, once you've updated the uh, the firmware, the IPSW. If for some reason you have to do it again, um, oh, there's your pineapple. You can see your pineapple. If you have to use a new firmware, uh, you have to download the new firmware because what it's doing is actually modding this firmware. So once again, you can visit jailbreakitouch.com. We've grown quite a bit since January. Um, at this time, we're pushing close to probably 11, uh, 11 and a half thousand members. Uh, we have a we have a whole bunch of whole bunch of moderators that are with us now, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that portion of it's done. You'll see that there's nothing going on here now. And if you just take a look at the if you take a look at the iPod, you can just watch what it's doing. And that is, uh, and that's it. So you see how it's jailbroken. Okay, so now you can see that the Wi-Fi is up, and we'll just test it to make sure that the Wi-Fi is working. So just go to Safari. It'll bring up a home page. 
as soon as you jailbreak it and you open up Safari for the first time, it'll bring up the bookmarks. I'll just click on Yahoo. And you'll see that we have our homepage that comes up. So now we'll go to Cydia. There's this thing called reorganizing. We'll automatically restart when done. Just let it do its thing. Okay, so it brought itself back out. We we'll go back in, go back to Cydia. User graphical only is what you want to use unless you're doing some other stuff. And now it's loading the interface. So let's say I'm just going to do a couple things here quickly just to give you an idea of what it can look like. So let it download its packages as you can see at the top here. And we'll just do an ignore. Go to selection. Go to search. Scroll down to Winterboard. There it is there. Then click on Install. And confirm. And then this is the process that it runs. One thing to keep in mind is that when it's doing the installation, you'll see the top, there's a little uh, the windows uh, dots are circling around. Wait till that's done. Click on Reload Springboard. Go back to Cydia, and now let's grab let's grab a theme. So click on Selections, and you'll see where it says Themes, Full Themes, Complete Themes, uh, Springboard. Don't use this AT theme one you see here. It, uh, it's pretty cool what it does, but it really messes things up. Um, let's see what the electric blue looks like. Click on more information. And what it'll do is it'll take you to the page of the Planet iPhones. And it'll give you a, a look, an idea of what it looks like. So let's just do that just for, for fun. And click on install. And then confirm. You see a little circle at the top spinning? Make sure that's done before you click Return to Cydia, because if not, it'll freeze up on you. Exit out. Click on Winterboard. So there's many things you can do here. We, we can make the top navigation bars black. You can click on Electric Blue, and we just exit out. It'll reload your springboard. We go back in, and now you have a completely different different theme. Now, keep in mind, you see the two icons are different because a lot of these icons are designed for the iPhone, so those will show up. But you can just browse through until you find one that doesn't have it. But that's it. Essentially, that's how you jailbreak your iPod Touch using QuickPwn, and that's how you install that's how you install Winterboard to change your change your theme. Thanks a lot, guys. Visit jailbreakitouch.com. Thank you.